So the bottom of that garden bed is completely full of mint. And these little aquaponics grow beds are completely overgrown with mint. And now that we're getting a bit closer, you can see probably just how much damn mint we've got. So today we're going to use some of that and we're going to have our first ever crack at Let's make a mint liqueur. G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So the way the recipe works is it's two cups of alcohol base. You can use vodka as you know I make my own alcohol base. Uh, two cups of alcohol base to one quarter cup of sugar to one bunch of either basil or mint and I'm going to use mint. Six cups of alcohol base, that means I need three quarters, just stick to the ratios, three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. We'll add that and then we'll go and get three bunches of mint. I've harvested quite a bit of that. I'm not going to use the older manky stuff. I'm only going to pick through and use the absolute best of it. Um, and we'll chop it up and we'll put it in with the mix. Okay, so there you go. That's what it looks like. Every so, It's just going to live on the kitchen bench now for a couple of days. I'll walk past and I'll give it a big shake up. Um, and I'll try it occasionally. After about three days I'll give it a try. Um, and I'll just leave it sitting until it gets the right amount of mint. Now, if it's not sweet enough for your your personal taste, just add a little bit more caster sugar. Sounding easy, isn't it? It originally comes from Use It All, the Corner Smith Guide to a More Sustainable Kitchen by Alex Ellert, Elliot Howry and Jamie Edwards. Um, really useful book. Like I say, they, the original recipe was with basil. Um, but they mentioned you could do it with mint, and since I had so much mint, I thought I'd give that a crack. So we're on day three. Um, the mint is beautifully infused, so lots of flavour. I've been trying today and yesterday, and the first thing to note that I changed was I doubled the sugar. Um, so I've used half a cup of sugar. Um, that's per two cups of alcohol. Um... Now, the other thing I did, I'm because I use my own alcohol base, mine's at 40%. Now, I found that a little strong, so I've actually added um, the same amount of water, uh, filtered water, as I did sugar. Um, so that's half a cup of filtered water per two cups of alcohol. Now, that would probably take it down to about 30, 32, 30% alcohol uh, and that's just a lot smoother on the drinking uh, the mint like I said is beautifully infused um, so that's all good now and we're about to go on to filtering just to make sure this is complete and obvious um, my alcohol base is already filtered so that goes through a charcoal filter uh, prior to any flavor being added so that's step one has been done um, we're just going to run it through pretty much like a tea strainer uh, and that's just to get these big chunks of leaves out and then I'll run it through a coffee filter paper. Alrighty, here we go. We're all out of that. No doubt there is a, still a little bit of fine matter in there. Um, so I'm going to run it through this coffee filter paper and that'll get rid of the very last of it. Uh, let's do that now. There we go. Just run it through. Um, you know, if it gets, if the paper gets dirty, it slows right down. Uh, at the moment, it's running pretty quick. It's working pretty well. Um, I'll post the updated recipe in written form uh, in the, you know, in the intro to the video. That way you've got it complete rather than just hearing it from me as I work it out. But I'm pretty comfortable this has ended up a damn fine recipe. See the really fine stuff that this coffee filter paper gets out. That's what you want. You don't want that in your liqueur. Go five bottles of mint liqueur. I reckon it'd be beautiful over vanilla ice cream. Or even mixed in with a little bit of whole milk on the ice for a little, you know, little after dinner beverage. A cracker. Alright folks, well... 
hope you found that interesting and if you um, like this kind of stuff feel free to hit the subscribe button of course if you hit the bell you'll get an email to tell you when i next put a video up all right thanks for watching Uru.